seconds into flight on the Falcon 9. All engines are running at full power. We are preparing to enter through our first major milestone after liftoff, max Q. It's going to occur at T plus one minute, 12 seconds. We're gonna, we're gonna throttle those engines down. We've confirmed nominal status from the avionics team. Next, max Q, that's when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of dynamic pressure. We throttle those engines down, and afterwards, we follow them back up to keep dynamic pressures below a certain level. Is supersonic. Max Q. We've successfully crossed the Max Q threshold. Everything is looking good with the first stage's trajectory. Next, we're going to start our MVAC chill. This is going to help us prepare for the next three major events. They occur one after another. The first one, those nine Merlin 1D engines are going to cut off. That's known as MECO or main engine cutoff. Right after that, the first and second stage will separate. And then the Merlin vacuum MVAC engine, engine on the start. second stage will turn on. That's known as SES-1. about 15 seconds away from throttling down those Merlin 1D engines, you'll, you'll start to see that visual change and that plume you see on the screen. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. All right, all good news here. We had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Our next milestone is fairing deployment. Those two fairing halves on the top of the second stage are no longer needed, and we'll jettison them uh, to help expose the Turksat 5A satellite to space and attempt to recover those later on. Second stage is on a nominal trajectory. 